There is a small water fountain where um, close by where I live. There is a nice little church there and outside of the church uh, there is this water fountain and uh, I hope uh, to collect some water samples or at least some moss. Uh, it is still early in the springtime so I'm not very optimistic in finding uh, paramecia or algae or so because they didn't really have a lot of time to grow yet. Um, but moss uh, should be plentiful uh, so I'm gonna try uh, to find some of that uh, to look under the microscope. People come here um, to collect some water samples because the water quality is very high. Apparently it's very rich in minerals, uh, so uh, it, uh, people, locals here, actually say it's uh, pretty healthy. Still relatively early in the springtime, so there are not many algae growing yet. Um, over here there is a little bit of moss. Uh, I'm gonna try to collect some of this and uh, hope for the best, but I'm not very optimistic. Maybe, uh, if not uh, paramecia, uh, then at least maybe some tardigrades. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, these are watertight containers. Um, I bought them in a local drugstore. Um, they sell cream, uh, cream in them, um, and they're quite uh, low cost. Uh, and this one, I think, over here has a 30 milliliters capacity. So let's uh, put it back into the field box and let's go back home. In the village there where I live, uh, there are some old railway tracks. Uh, they're not used anymore. Right on the tracks, you can find some lichens and um, over here, some moss. Uh, I think uh, I'm going to take also a sample of this moss here. Some scissors, maybe, maybe I can collect some samples over here. Okay, I think uh, that'll do for right now. Okay, uh, let's have a look. Here it is, here's the sample. Let's adjust the lamp a little bit. It's a little bit out of focus, I think. No, I think that's better. Yep, um, and uh, Let's uh, put a small uh, piece of the mossum on a uh, on a microscope slide, and then let's have a, a closer look. I think uh, this uh, specimen here is way too thick. Um, let's try it anyway, and let's see what we can, how successful it is. Okay, first of all, a small cover glass, and of course it's too thick. I mean, we see that it's not gonna work well. I'm gonna compress it a little bit, uh, but let's let's have a look anyway. Maybe there are some uh, some organisms on the surface um, of uh, of the moss uh, that we can see. Well, as expected, the specimen is a little bit thick. Okay. Well, we can almost see the individual cells already um, there are some air bubbles here the large uh, round structures are air bubbles i mean if i do a time lapse maybe i can actually see them grow as the uh, moss produces more and more oxygen that would be actually quite interesting to observe This is now a growing air bubble, oxygen bubble, at 60 times speed. And uh, the oxygen is formed by photosynthesis. Okay, uh, here are some cells and uh, some diatoms. Yes, on the, um, on the moss there are some diatoms. Um, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, I don't know if you can see them. But that's actually quite nice. Those elongated structures that you see, these are diatoms. They seem to be growing on, um, on the moss. 
You can also start to see the individual cells much better and also the chloroplasts of the cells. Yeah, so basically um, there are uh, uh, diatoms growing on the moss, uh, quite a few of them. There seems to be a whole colony on here. Um, but let's uh, have a look at some other places. Yeah, there are plenty of diatoms. Some of the diatoms are moving around, they are gliding, and uh, this one in particular is, is quite uh, large and uh, it's quite well visible as it's moving along the surface um, of the moss. I think that sometimes the organisms that are growing on the moss uh, are even more interesting than the moss itself. I think I have found a rotifer uh, moving around uh, in my field of view. And uh, that's a little bit unexpected because uh, the uh, uh, moss itself was actually not submer submerged in water. So I think that uh, by picking up the water sample, I think this is where the water for originally came from. Um, and that it did not really uh, live on the moss originally because I picked up the moss uh, from a rather dry area. It does seem to be some kind of a rotifer. It is connected uh, to the glass slide with a so-called foot. And I think there was also a second one somewhere. That's not a rotifer. Or is it? No, it looks more like... Like a more free-moving ciliate. Circling these uh, three diatoms in the middle. Okay, um, and now uh, to the dry moss uh, sample from the railroad track. Um, I'm going to try something different. And now I'm going to add some tap water here. And uh, I'm simply going to try to get some of the organisms that are hopefully growing on the moss. I'm trying to get it off by simply soaking it in the tap water, hoping to wash off some of the microorganisms that are living on here. And yeah, and then we'll see what we get. Put some of the liquid uh, on here. Already have had a little drop of uh, liquid on, on the slide. So, and then of course, um, a cover glass. It was a little bit too much liquid. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to soak off uh, some of the liquid. I'm gonna tear off some of the tissue paper over here because I don't want any of the liquid to spill over. Yeah, but uh, rather disappointing. Rather disappointing, I have to admit. But that's uh, part of amateur microscopy. You never know what you get. Um, so maybe I am going to directly put uh, a piece um, of the moss directly under the microscope uh, with the hope of being a little bit more successful. This looks uh, like uh, the shell of a so-called testate amoeba. These amoeba are single-celled uh, organisms and some of them have a shell and it looks rather similar to sort of one of these shells. I'm not sure if it is one, but it could be. It looks uh, rather empty, but otherwise also here is not much of interest. And over here is, uh, over here is the, the moss. Um, it looks rather dead uh, because it's not green. Um, so, uh, but uh, it allow this way we can see a little bit better the individual cell structure and the cell walls. Well, I think uh, I'm going to call it uh, a day for today. I hope uh, that you enjoyed the film a little bit. Uh, it was interesting for you. Um, it has given this uh, video has given you hopefully a little insight into amateur microscopy as well. Yeah, so you can see uh, it's a little bit always, uh, so there's always something new to discover and sometimes, well, there's nothing to discover because uh, the sample is rather disappointing. In any case, uh, I wish you a nice day. Uh, please do subscribe uh, to this uh, channel if you, if you liked it and uh, have a nice day and happy microscopy. Bye-bye.